Tao overflows. Dreams are private. Whatsoever is private, certainly it belongs to the world of dreams. Heraclitus says, the waking has one world in common. Sleepers have each a private world of their own. It is important to know about Heraclitus first. Before I go into the Sutra, Heraclitus of 500 and he belonged to 530 BCE to 473 BCE. He was a pre-Socratic Greek philosopher, a native of Greek city Ephesus, Iona, on the coast of Asia Minor. He was born of distinguished parentage. Little is known about his early life and education. However, he is regarded as self-taught and a pioneer of wisdom. From the lonely life he led and is still more from the riding nature of his philosophy and his contempt of humankind in general, he is called the obscure and the weeping philosopher. Heraclitus is famous for his insistence on ever-present change in the universe. This he stated in his famous saying, no man ever steps in the same river twice. No man ever steps in the same river twice. He believed in the unity of opposites, stating that the path up and down are one and the same. All existing things being characterized by pairs of contrary properties. His cryptic utterance that all things come to be in accordance with the Logos stands for reason, order or law in an ever-shifting world. Dreams are absolutely private Nobody can enter into your dreams. You cannot share a dream even with your beloved. Husbands and wives, they sleep on the same bed, but dream separately. It is impossible to share a dream because it is nothing. How can you share nothing? Just like a bubble, it is absolutely non existential. You cannot share it. You have to dream alone and so much importance is given to dreams. This is ironical. There are so many sleepers that there exists so many worlds. You have your own world if you are asleep and live enclosed in your own thoughts concepts, dreams, and desires. Whenever you meet another person, indeed, two worlds clash. The two worlds are in collision. Two worlds are in collision now, and this is what the situation is. Watch and introspect. Look at a husband and a wife talking. In reality, they are not talking at all. The husband is thinking about the office and the salary, while the wife is thinking about the clothes for Christmas party. Inside, they have their own private worlds. But their private worlds meet somewhere and clashes because the wife's special dress will depend on the salary of the husband as he has to provide for the wife's dresses. The wife says, darling, but, the, but behind the world, darlings are meant use for dresses. She is thinking about them. The word darling is empty and has a definitive motive. The word does not mean 
that which is written in the dictionary. Because every time a woman or a man says, Darling, this is now just a face it. And the other immediately becomes afraid. The other does not show it, of course, because when someone says, Darling, you cannot show, show it. Instead, he says, What is it, dear? Is it, is it not so? When someone says, Darling, the other says, What is it, dear? How are you? But he is afraid because he is thinking of his salary and he knows that Christmas is coming and there is danger. I have heard one day Mullah Nasruddin's wife was asking him what has happened. Lately I even cry and tears roll down my face and you do not even ask for the cause of my cry. Nasruddin replied, enough is enough. It costs too much to ask. And in the past, I have committed the mistake, mistake so many times, because those tears are not just tears. Instead, dresses, a new house, new furniture, a new car, many things are hidden behind each tear. Those tears are just, I start. No dialogue is possible because there is <coughs> no dialogue is possible because there are two different worlds inside each one of them. Only conflict is possible. Therefore, dreams are possible. Truth is not pos not private. Truth cannot be private. Truth cannot be mine or yours or of Jesus or Buddha or Muhammad. But their followers think that Muhammad's truth differs from that of Hindus and Christians. Truth can never be Christian or a Hindu or a Muslim. Truth cannot be Indian, Greek or German. Truth cannot be private. Dreams are private. What we call religion are nothing else. They are not cosmic. Instead, they are private. Whatsoever is private, remember, it must belong to the world of dreams. Truth is an open sky. It is for all and it is one. That is why when Lao Tse speaks, the language may be different. Buddha talks, the language may be different. Heraclitus talks, the language is different, but they mean the same. They indicate towards the same. Buddha do not live, Buddhas, the awakened ones, do not live in their private worlds. The private worlds have dis disappeared with their dreams, desires and the mind. Mind has a private world, but consciousness has no private world. The waking has one world in common, and all those who are awake, they have one world in common, and that is existence, that is truth. And all those who are asleep and dreaming have their own worlds diversified and many face it. I ask you to be in the world, but do not let the world be in you. Your world has to be dropped indeed. That is only one thing I require of you and I ask of you. 
I do not ask you to leave your wife or husband or your job or anything. I do not ask you to leave your job. I do not ask you to leave your money or anything else. No. I simply say, leave your private worlds of dreams. That is the beginning of a spiritual journey for me and for that matter for all the awakened ones. There is no need to leave, these, leave this world, the visible, going to the mountains, leaving the wife, husband and children. That is not the point at all. That is not the world to leave. How can you leave it? Even the Himalayas, even the monasteries, even to your churches belong to the world. The real world which has to be renounced is the mind and the private dreaming. If you renounce it, Sitting in the marketplace, you are in the Himalayan mountains. If you do not renounce it, even in the Himalayan mountains, you will also create a private world around you. Those who are with me in deep meditation, they will understand this, that they are in the world, but the world is not within you. They perform all their responsibilities, but not affected by it. How can you escape yourself? Whenever you, wherever you go, you will be yourself. Wherever you go, you will behave the same way. Situations may be different, but how can you be different? You will be asleep in the Himalayan mountains or in New York, or in London, or in Trinidad, or in Germany, or anywhere else. What difference does it make whether you sleep in New Delhi, or you sleep in Boston, or you sleep in London, or in Himalayas? Introspect. Wherever you are, you will be dreaming, drop dreaming, become more alert and awake, suddenly dreams disappear. And with dreams disappearing, also disappears misery. Your, all your problems of misery and other problems are in life belong to your process of dreaming. Drop the dreaming, miseries, and problems will disappear. Enough for now.